So today I would like to talk about um, why um, I think that uh, Marcolis approach or his way of doing his job, which was uh, being a singer, but also uh, composing, arranging, going on stage. Uh, I think he supervised the whole concept. Um, why his way is different from uh, other artists. I just realized that yesterday. You know that I already um, posted a video about the clip video Such a Shame. And um, lately I talked about Dumb Dumb Girl. So I was watching yesterday um, other clip videos, but more... Uh, more sad because I consider that such a shame and uh, dumb dumb girl are really the happiest ones. Maybe we can include it's my life among the happiest, even if the subject is not so happy. But there is something very joyful in uh, it's my life. So yesterday I was watching. Um, Life's what you make it, and living in another world. Um, they are not supposed to be especially sad, but if you listen to the lyrics, they are sad. They are very sad. And if you watch the videos, they are not joyful. And there is, of course, also, and I watched that yesterday also, uh, I believe in you. So that is really sad. It's it's made to be sad because the subject is really sad. And um, as I'm painting about Marcolis, I thought that maybe my um, reaction uh, wouldn't be the same anymore. By the way, talking about painting, I worked on it. I'm very glad with uh, what I've done so far. Uh, I only made the first coat of paint, of oil paint, so it's not completely done yet. Um, I'm very happy with what I've made so far and it's really incredible because I have the feeling that I work much better than before. I stopped during nine years, so I thought maybe uh, I'm going to be completely uh, rusted, if we can say that. I mean, uh, maybe I will have forgotten how we do it. Um, yeah, I forgot a little, but it comes back. You know, it's like bicycle. Once you know how to ride a bicycle, you don't forget. And same thing when you swim well anyway uh, it comes back but especially I put a lot of effort in it uh, much more than usually probably because Marcolis is alive and especially because he's excellent he's excellent he always tries to do uh, the best quality so I can't suck you know I can't do something which would be bad uh, I'm not saying that I'm going to be as good as he is in music and I will be as good in painting, but at least I must do my best. And um, I think that so far I did my best. Uh, it's so alive on the portrait that uh, at a point I was on my computer and uh, his face was reflected on the screen and I thought that someone was behind me and I jumped on my chair and it was wow. But I'm, I'm very happy. I will do a, vi a video especially for the portrait, for the first coat and then once it's finished I will do another video uh, about the final product. But this portrait um, makes me think a lot because why why Marcolis? Why I paint again thanks to him? Uh, why I paint much better than before? Why 
I'm talking about him all the time on YouTube. Um, it's not like if I was discovering him for the first time. Um, I've known him since uh, 30 years, but I didn't know everything about him for sure. Sorry. So this being said, yesterday I was watching these videos that I already knew, but I wanted to watch them again to see if I would have a different reaction to them. And actually, um, I believe in you uh, made me uh, cry, made me overwhelmed much more than usually. Uh, I always knew that this video was sad. Um, but it touched me more than usually yesterday. I don't know why. Um, it's maybe because I was watching him on the video more carefully because I'm always searching for the painting to make uh, and suddenly his pain his pain jumped to me uh, I was like oh wow um, it's terrible it's difficult to sing something like that and no he was not taking drugs it's not about him he didn't take heroin he was not on drugs he already said so and he doesn't need to say it because it's pretty obvious that he was not under influence do you really think he would be able to do such an amazing job if he was under influence no 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 and uh, the person it's about, it's none of our business, so uh, I'm not going to talk about that. That's not the point. Uh, the, whatever the reason is for this song, um, obviously it's something very important to him. And obviously it's something which touched him. And of course he had to do a very simple video because the emotion is the main thing in this song and in this video um, the pain the difficulty in this situation is the topic and showing the difficulty and showing the pain too much would be too much it would be even uh, redundant i mean he was right. He wanted to make a simple video um, showing him singing it and feeling it deeply, feeling it so deeply that at a point he doesn't even pronounce the words, you know. You must watch this video. It's I will put the link below in the description box. Uh, you must watch it. It's really very, a very overwhelming video. I suddenly realized that Marcolis was was is uh, is not only a singer. He also is um, an artist who put everything in his art. Um, he put his guts, he put, uh, I don't know if we say that in English, he, he puts his heart and soul, heart and soul, heart and soul in his um, art, in his music, in his lyrics, in his videos, when he was on stage. And it's something really hard. Um, it was not just a job for him. It was really more than that. And I suddenly realized why he couldn't continue forever. Because when you give so much, when you give so much, you can't um, continue forever. 
uh, especially uh, if you create a family, at a point you must decide if you want to give to your family or to the public, uh, the audience, uh, the fans. Uh, you can do both, especially for him. Uh, a lot of artists do both, but most of artists uh, don't give so much as Marcolis gave to the people. And uh, he's a genius, so I think that at a point he maybe felt uh, not understood as he should. So that is a common point with uh, Jim Morrison. Except that Jim Morrison uh, started drinking and taking drugs to escape that. What is not the case of uh, Marcolis? Uh, so Marcolis put all his efforts in the creation in his work in the quality of his work, it's much more constructive than uh, destroying uh, oneself, as uh, Jim Morrison did. I was thinking of all this because I was wondering why uh, Tok Tok music or Marcolis music... Uh, First, why did I have a dream about them, about the music? Why? Second, why this such a shame video had such an effect on me and made me paint again? Um, so I started painting again. Why? Because I found something really very interesting to paint about, interesting enough to make me start again. Every time I tried to paint something, I was like, oh, I want to paint this, and then, oh, no, it's not very interesting, or no, it's not so beautiful, or no, it doesn't deserve a painting. And I was feeling sad because it's like if all the the will, the the desire, the desire. I'm listening to Spirit of Eden right now. Um, it's like if all the desire disappeared. No, nothing. An empty mind. Everybody was asking me, when do you do a painting again? Could you paint this or that? And I was like, I, I can't do it. I just can't. And suddenly, this music. But why this music? Why him? Why this group? I understood that uh, there is something in this music and in these lyrics and in this person, I would say, I'm talking about Marcolis, not about Paul Webb or Lee Harris or even um, Tim Freeze Green, though I don't really know him really well, I can't say. But um, for sure, because of Marcolis, I realized that there was something he there which was familiar to me, like a, a spirit that I was understanding, like if we had something in common, and I, I really felt a very strong connection with uh, this music that I always loved, but I only knew a uh, half of it. I only knew the three first albums. I didn't know the three last ones. And it's a pity because if I had known them before, probably it would have helped me sooner. Um, he was 
he is speaking, he is talking a language that I understand. He is saying things, I can relate to these things, you know, I, I know exactly what he is talking about. I will never be grateful enough for this. Um, I'm not paid by Marcolis to say all these things. I'm paid by nobody. I, it's not a sponsored video. My videos are not sponsored. I do them because I have to. I have to. I must tell the world how this music is important. How. A lot of people um, know that. I'm not the only one. If you go on uh, YouTube or in other on wa other website, you, you will see a lot of people uh, say things about uh, Talk Talk or about uh, Marcolis, and they feel that there is something there which is really different from the rest. And, and you know, there are a lot of artists that I love. Um, uh, for example, uh, I used to love the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, I still love them, but I, I like less what they did uh, recently. But I love Ch Chad Smith uh, and Anthony Kiddis. Uh, I, I really love them. I, I saw them on stage in Paris. It was great. I love uh, but I never wanted to make a painting about their songs. There is one song about um, the seven seas and the lemon trees. I don't remember the name of this song. Uh, it was giving me a hint of an idea for a painting, but not enough to start it. Or... Something more recent. I I I love the Smashing Pumpkin. Uh, I think that uh, they don't need a painting. They have their videos. It's good enough. Uh, and and the guy, the singer, he has kind of a weird background. Uh, there is probably a lot to say. I'm not saying that these people are stupid and that Marcolis is smart. Yes, Marcolis is smart, but uh, it doesn't mean that the other ones are stupid. Uh, it just means that we can't relate to them because there is a barrier between the artist and the audience. So we see an image, it's like Brian Ferry, I was talking about him uh, in another video. Uh, beautiful man, everything perfect, uh, he sings really well, I love the songs, uh, uh, great! Um, well, I don't like so much what he does now, but I mean before. Uh, uh, but he's an artist, and that's it. He's, uh, I don't see, uh, he is a human being, but I don't see him like uh, if he was close to me, as if I can relate to him. Uh, no, he's very, uh, there is really a screen between uh, him and me. Uh, and he's English, no, he's Scottish, I think. There are a lot of genius artists, uh, wonderful artists, uh, Nine Inch Nails, uh, Paul McCartney, uh, I don't know, John Lennon, uh, I, I, uh, e even Jim Morrison that I know really well, well, I know, I don't know him personally, but that I've worked on him a lot. Um, there is not this uh, connection that I can have with... Um, Talk Talk music or with Marcolis music. When I see them on stage or um, on some videos, not on all of them, or in interviews, I can really feel the human being behind Marcolis. I wouldn't say the same for Paul Webb or for uh, Lee Harris. Uh, they are less uh, transparent to me. Um, they don't give much. Uh, Marcolis doesn't give a lot in the interviews. He doesn't 
talk a lot. He doesn't say much. But he doesn't need to. He his music speaks for him. His lyrics speak for him. The Such a Shame video speaks for him. The Dom Dom Girl speaks a lot for him. And even as weird as it is, the It's My Life uh, speaks a lot for him. Uh, I think people now need a kind of warmth. Um, I think the world is too cold. People don't care about the others. There is a distance between people because we... See, I'm doing a video. I, I talk through a computer. I'm not even in front of someone. It is crazy when we think about it. And it's not easy for me to say all these things which are rather uh, personal to me to... Uh, in front of my phone and knowing that it will be seen by a lot of people that I don't even know. But I think that the world is, became too cold and we need some warmth and we need uh, that something comes through the image. And I was like alone. I was hurting because I couldn't paint anymore. I was feeling sad and suddenly whew, um, it's like if it made me alive again. Uh, alive again, yes. And more I was reading about uh, Marcolis, more I was watching interviews and and videos and all kind of stuff uh, more I thought there is at least one human being on this earth who is uh, sincere who is trying to convey something and maybe not everybody understood and I'm thinking I'm not alone I'm not the only one who is uh, so sensitive. I don't know if you hear it's uh, I'm listening to uh, I Believe in You. I will do a video just for this song. The lyrics are of... I think we can stay indifferent uh, by listening to a song as beautiful as this one, uh, I believe in you, and uh, not feel the pain. Um, maybe we must have lived this pain to understand? I'm not sure, no. I think anybody can relate to that, it's easy to understand. It's so beautiful. And, and you know, I, I prefer uh, laughing by watching uh, Marcolis in his videos. It's much more fun. But, you know, I think with Marcolis it's like that. You laugh and you cry. Enough painting, enough crippled. A time to sell yourself, a time for passing. A time to sell yourself, a time for passing. Yesterday I listened to that and I started crying during half an hour. I don't know why, it's so touching, it's so true, yeah, it's real, it's not fake, it's not, uh, 
it's not something to look cool or to there is nothing cool in this it's reality all this to say people must pay more attention to the Tok Tok music, uh, not only the Tok Tok music, but also the Marcolis music. I mean, the CD, the album he, he made alone, uh, without uh, the others. Um, because it's not any music, it's more than music. It's uh, really, uh, he gave everything in them. He gave all. He didn't treat the music as a job. He treated the music as an art. And he created, uh, and I hope he still is creating, as an artist, but I mean an artist, not the, the usual artist, I mean an artist uh, of a very who has a very high level. So, conclusion. Marcolis is not like anybody else. His approach in his art is completely different from the rest of all what I know. Maybe I'm missing something, maybe he's not the only one, but really, seriously, uh, even, for example, if I think that the Beatles are uh, probably a uh, monument and will exist forever and uh, they arrived at such a degree of quality, uh, but uh, in the Beatles music, even in John Lennon music, and John Lennon was someone really smart and really thinking about what he was doing, but there is not this sensitivity, this uh, emotional, I would say, experience that you can find in Tok Tok or in uh, Marcolis music. So I think you, you must listen to it a little more deeply and try to understand the lyrics and don't care about uh, if he wears glasses and glasses or not, or if he's dressed like that or not, or if he looks like this or not, uh, long hair, short hair, whatever, um, or if we can compare them to Duran Duran, ridiculous, nothing to do with Duran Duran. Um, they were not just a pop group like we could find them completely different. If the power of their music made me do this, you imagine the power of the music. It's not like if I was meeting Marcolis every day and he tells me do this, do that, or if he's giving me a lot of money and say, do a painting of myself, a portrait. I, I can't even imagine him doing something like that. But... Um, I'm not saying that my painting is wonderful and it's not finished yet, uh, but I know, I know that my painting is not bad, I know, and um, at least I'm very satisfied so far with what I've done. That's what I wanted, after all, I paint for myself, I mean, I have no intention to sell this, it's not for sale, don't try to buy it, I'm not selling it. It's just for me. But when I come back home and I see that, I feel what I wanted to show in this painting and it makes me smile. And I'm amazed by the power of the music to make me first start painting again after nine years then being able to do something like that after nine years 
of almost ten years of silence. Wish I was talented enough to do the same for him.